Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we have a tiny tiny Sephora haul and then we are going to do some eyeshadow together. I've already put on, I have a hair somewhere. I put on my eyebrows, some concealer, and I did the tiniest bit of a foundation in here because I still can't figure out what's breaking me out. Um, I've only stopped using the A Cosmetic CC Cream for maybe about two weeks now so I don't know I just started using the the ordinary AHA BHA peel again so I'm hoping that'll help fix it this is the first time I've washed my hair with my new color in and I'm trying to style it with a bit of a curtain bang without heat so that's what we're doing with that and yeah she's a little flat on the top but you know I kind of wanted it I wanted to do the middle part I haven't done that in a while but yeah so let me show you what I got from Sephora so the first thing I don't have with me I just have the box because they're in the washer but I did pick up another set of the makeup eraser Spongebob collection however these are bigger so they have their mini makeup erasers which are like this big these ones are about this big and you could use like one for your whole face instead of the minis because the minis are kind of hard to do your whole face with. So these are in the washer so I can use them. And then I got some free samples. So the coupon code I used was for the Ilia mascara. And this is the fullest volumizing mascara. And then I got Bite Upswing full volume mascara with my points and a mini polypeptide cream with my points. I used to buy full sizes of this, but I've been able to use points to get them. So I've never really gone without it. I just always have a smaller amount. Oh my God, I get texts and calls at the worst times. Um, also now you can see my moon shelf. I don't know if you could see that in the beginning, but there's my little moon shelf. Um, but now the piece de resistance, the reason I placed the whole order, was for the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. And this is what we will be doing our eyeshadow with today. It's really hard to capture on camera, but the packaging of this is like a rose gold. It's more pink and it comes off a lot more like neutral on camera. But here's what it looks like and I'm really excited. I think we might be able to use every shade, maybe not this pink one, uh, but I definitely am probably gonna use all of these. So, Let's prime our eyes. I'm going to use my trusty P. Louise base because that's my, that's in the corner now. Okay. This is the Rumor 2 shade. So Labor Day, yeah, is tomorrow. There's been a couple of sales. Has anyone gotten anything good? I did order the, I did indeed order the Bobbi Brown duo in the peach shade after using the pink one and falling in love with it and uh the blush brush from bobby brown that's like a cult classic and then i ordered some earrings from one's from like glaffy or something i don't know how to say it. and then the other one was from shop kk i think that's how you say it so I got those. I'm gonna take a refer brush. This is the refer 27 and I'm gonna go into the shade 60s, no, vintage taupe. Need a mirror, I need a mirror. Um, so I did pick that up. I'm not gonna tap it off this time. And then I did pick up, okay, I've been wanting this for a while, and it finally was on sale, so Pat McGrath is having a 25% off for Labor Day. So I decided to pick up her Interstellar Icon Quad, because I've just wanted it since it released, kind of like this Natasha Denona palette, this little mini retro. Also, big retro, huge disappointment in my opinion, I feel like a lot of people do agree with me in that though. All right, so we're keeping Vintage Taupe to that inner portion of the eye. This is already so pretty. Imagine if you just did this through the crease in one of the lighter shades. It would be such a pretty little... It'd just be pretty. Now I'm taking a Smith 230 brush, and we're going to dip into this 60s shade, I think it was called. It's the green one, the green matte. And we're going to just put that on the outer corner and floof it through. Thank you. 
and most of this will get covered up with a shimmer. And then another person who I really enjoy on YouTube, Lauren May Beauty, she did a video duping the, well, taking the little one, she owns Mini Wet Retro, then she made like a bigger version, um, and it wasn't a direct copy of the new one, because nobody, I don't know, I really feel like they dropped the ball on that, I feel like for Retro being like pinky and greeny, I see that if we're doing like 70s retro, I see those color stories coming through in my opinion, um, especially just with like furniture and stuff. So I was definitely really disappointed because I was going to just hold out on buying the mini and wait for the big one because sometimes she overlaps the shades, which is it's fine, I don't really care, but I mean here we are. Here we are. It's not building as well as I wanted it to, but this could just be the brush. Oh, ooh, that eye looks actually really nice. Let's try to get that depth over here. And I love my P. Louise base, so I know it's never her messing things up. That's so funny to say. So yesterday my husband and I were talking because he's building a new computer right now. And he's going to give me his old one. So when that happens, the bed will be gone behind me and there's going to be like a computer in that little corner instead of Denise the Mermaid Squishmallow all smushed down. It does suck though because um, I've taken a lot of good naps in this bed. But I think I'm going to try to shove it in the guest bedroom so then they'll have this like giant. It'd be a queen bed with a twin next to it. So I can just like roll from one side to the other, I guess. Although I hate guests. So. Alright, so I don't want to use a glitter glue. You know, I want to really. I want to really see uh, what these shadows do on their own. Oh, we're winging out up here. I cut my little, I cut these little pieces earlier. I'm really excited about that. Okay, anyway. Okay, I need to get closer. I'm going to switch mirrors. So I'm just going to use my, uh, like, iconic London, oh, sorry, my iconic London mirror that's down here. And we are going to dip in. I think we're going to use every shade. So first I'm going to start in with the pink, the lighter pink, because this is going to go on the mobile lid. And we're going to use that topper on the top of everything after. And I kind of like the idea of a quad where you're using all of it. Like some of the looks I did with the Jubilee. Sorry, Quint. Like, some of the looks I did with the Jubilee were so good. Let's just marry these into the crease. And then we're going to take that darker. I'm going to use my pinky finger because it's the smallest. And we are going to just kind of drag that. So I want you guys to be able to see. I mean, you know, I'm applying it. I'm not doing it perfectly because I'm using my pinky finger, but that's kind of what I want. Wow, these are really pretty eyeshadows. Weirdly enough, I really enjoyed that. Um, I think that's vintage taupe. Creamy matte, yeah. I really enjoyed that vintage taupe shade. The first one we laid down. I'm excited to use that in more really light toned neutrally looks all right so we're gonna marry these on that middle of the lid really messily because i don't really have much left on my finger for either shade and then let's go into that topper on my middle finger eee. Ooh, that's 
really pretty. And I'm pretty much going to put it from the middle of the lid where I merged the two colors. And then I'm also going to bring that on the inner portion of the... Oh, look how pretty this is. On the inner portion. I feel like this isn't going to look its proper depth on camera. But I am going to go get, let's take a little baby brush. This is the Ruffer 23. These are on sale currently. I think it ends on the 10th though. And this video is going up on Friday. Let's try to pick up, I'm trying to pick up this topper shade. What is it? Galaxia. Well, that picked up pretty well, honestly, on a brush. I just, as long as you go in knowing what you're trying to grab. Wow, I think that was really pretty. Oh, I like that. All right, so for face, I do want to try to show you guys again. What brush did I use? Um, I can't remember what brush I used for this last time. Weird. So I'm going to take my Sonia G Cla Classic Cheek and we're going to go into the Bobbi Brown Duo. And we're going to pick up the pink shade. I'm doing this so you guys can really see its color on its own. <gasps> Stop. Can you see that? Again, I feel like the natural lighting is going to wash it out slightly. But it's very pretty. And it, you know, it has a good amount of sheen to it. But I think it's really pretty. I'm not using bronzer today because... I don't know, I didn't, it's more of a subtle look. And then I'm just gonna dip right into the highlighter. Oh, yeah. And I'm kind of like poking in the brush in to pick it up because it's like a baked jelly kind of thing, you know? Okay, just grabbing a little bit more of the blush. Really making sure it's all married together. I like that. And then back to the eyes. I feel like I need a little bit of definition. Just going to take a BH Cosmetics V20. We're going to go back into this. I'm going to start with Vintage Taupe and we're going to run it along a lower lash line. And I already have concealer on and I didn't set it, but I don't really care about that. I'm just going to pop that on and then we're going to take 60s the dark green mat and put that on the outer corner I'm just using that to floof anything out that I need to floof out Okay, and then I don't think I want to do liner. I'm going to quickly do mascara All right, so I put mascara on top and bottom lashes. I think that retro vibe really kind of in my mind was like twiggy eyelashes. Um, I did put on a little bit of lipstick. I did the KKW Classic Icon 2, um, but I did a really small amount and I just kind of blurred it out. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty, I don't want to say I'm impressed, but I'm, I'm glad that I didn't hate it. Let's fluff up this hair. See? Curtainy bang, no heat, doesn't do the forehead thing, but you know what? My hair changes by the moment because if I sweat a little, it's going to pop right up. 
yeah, I think this was kind of fun. Again, I really wasn't here to put on like a bunch of makeup. I just really wanted to use this palette and we use every shade. Um, I do have photos of this and swatches on my Instagram, so definitely go check that out. Um, I wish that the big palette looked like this, but what can you do? I'm glad I was able to get a palette that was only $25 though. I'm excited to use it more in like everyday life. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Please go follow me on Instagram. Um, if you made it this far in the video, recommend me a show because I'm going to recommend you a show. Ted Lasso on Apple TV. It is so good. It is so good. Roy Kent. My heart. Um, you need to watch it. You need to get Apple TV just for that. Wait until season two is done. Um airing and then binge it and then cancel apple tv like you don't even understand what you're missing roy kent okay uh leave me a show down below and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video please follow me on instagram i post all the time there and i'm a lot more active over there um but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video please comment like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye